We are set. Lights on. Racing. They jumped in a pretty good line. Rocky Path, Pandora Girl, and also Hafey drop back with no by Savanek. And the first one out is Expert Girl carving across. Export Girl has gone to the lead from Keeper Sweet. Debonair is very nicely placed down on the inside. And now followed by Honey G gets into fourth from Zadar Rock and Key. Trade two to Savanek, Pandora Girl, and Hafey. Three away, no dice. And Rocky Path is back last and about 15 off the leader. Export Girl travels quite strongly at the 950. Led by three quarters to Keeper Sweet. Debonair, Honey G, Zadar Rock, Key. Trey Pandora Gill Savanek. Third last is Hafey from No Dice. Rocky Pass still last, still 15 off the lead. And they come up with about 650 metres to go. And it's Export Girl away from the fence, leading the way from Keeper Sweet and Debonair. Travelling very strongly on the inside for Pike as he looks for five. On the outside is Honey Jew. And then Key Trade moving up stylishly into fifth. Savanik follows at home. Zadar Rock the inside. Pandora Gill, No Dice. Hafey, Rocky Path. Around the bend they run. 400 to go. Export Girl about to be let go, led by three quarters on the outside is Keeper sweet debonair looks for the run back on the inside and then came honey Jew, key trade and savanik is coming right down the outside debonair got up on the inside to hit the front honey Jew, key trade running on and so is savanik and pandora girl but it's honey Jew just in front debonair the inside coming back with export girl it's honey Jew in front savanik coming late but honey has got the lead honey Jew beat savanik third pandora girl and then came export girl and debonair didn't finish it off on the inside key trade looed up but couldn't go on from no dice key Keeper Sweet le weakened a bit late. Zadar Rock just getting interfered with there over the crossing behind Debonair and then Rocky Path and tailing off Hafey. Honey Jew, who was entered for the uh, big one today, the uh, provincial plate, has come here instead and got the money over Savanik, who came late, but uh, too late. In the end, it ran home strongly, was given its chance out in the middle of the track by Brad. It just took a long time to really wind up, and Honey Jew had that little kick at the uh, 250. And uh, have a look at the owners here with P.L. Sumich, P.D. Johnson, J.N. Johnson, the L. Sumich, Zay Sumich, and Tab Radio's own Brad Hardy. He'll be on uh, tomorrow morning, no doubt, on the aftermath. Honey Jew by Headwater out of Tej, a four-year-old mare. Look, she's pretty consistent in in one sense. She's also a little hit and miss in the sense of her, her wins and when it's going to occur. But she's shown before that she has this really good turn of foot. She's come home with a blistering last uh, couple of hundred on occasions, one day bolting away from a, a reasonable field. And uh, she's done a good job today. Savanik into second. Pandora Girl weaved its way through for Watson. And a fourth in Export Girl. He led them up, battled on hard. Debonair had its chance nearer the inside. And Key Trade loomed up but couldn't quite go on. So let's head downstairs for the final time today with uh, Brittany having a chat to the connections of Honey Jew. Talking to my own father, Rich. Jim Taylor about to come into the yard. Talking to the connections now of Honey Jew, who are delighted after a number of placings. This mare is able to get into the winner's circle. She was nominated for two races, accepted in both the provincial championship as well as this race. Talk us through the decision to go this way instead. Uh, just a barrier. We'd had, a, as you know, Brittany, we'd had a set for the provincial championship for about over two months, and when she drew good in this and wide in the other one, and I didn't get a start till um, sort of after acceptors, and we sort of were able to make a late decision and made a decision just this morning, and thought we'd go this way, and it's been fruitful. What were your thoughts during the run? An excellent ride by Stevie. Yeah, when she was there, I was very confident. I saw she was travelling. She had Pikey in a pocket, although he got the rails run. But um, I knew she's got a very good sprint on her when she has an easy run like that. So I um, thought she'd go well. And nice to do it on top of the ground because obviously she's a mare that we know that on heavy track, soft track, she's going to be great throughout this winter period when we do get the weather in. But she's ticked a box to do it today. Uh, yeah, no, well, she's a lot better horse on a wet track, so no, quite pleasing to win on a track like this. And poor Sean O'Donnell was coming back and supposed to ride him today, but um, yeah, half a kilo, if he took off another half a kilo, he rides the winner, so maybe he'll do that next time. He might need to spend a bit more time in the sauna, but he did uh, wish uh, Stevie luck on the way out and wish he could have been on her today. Well done on the win. Thanks, Brittany. There is Jim Taylor, Honeydew.
Uh, it's always gone really well for Sean O'Donnell and uh, it was set to ride her, but he actually just said, you know what, you deserve to have someone who's at full strength to ride her here today because she's a really good chance and he would have been pushing it coming back from injury with his weight uh, to get right down to uh, the 55 kilos. So Stevie Parnham jumps aboard her and is able to handle her to perfection because she can be a hard travelling sort of mare at times and he was able to get her in the ideal spot and uh, put her out into the clear when uh, required. Here's Stevie. Textbook Stevie Parnham too, one out, one back, happy days. Yeah, well, it helps. We drew a good barrier and she jumped really well, so um, it was pretty easy to put her in a spot and she, she travelled really good. What about at the top of the straight? Probably hit the front a fair way from home and she had to fight them all off. She did, um, but just brought herself there really easy. I didn't want to break stride and um, I had Willie inside me on the favourite and um, I was going to sort of come out and hold him there, but then he, he ended up getting through. But she kicked really strong. First time at 1400, she um, held him off really good. Can't get any truth out of your father. Is Bustler still in work or has he gone to the paddock? <laughs> what did he say? He said, ah, Steve. Uh, he's still there at the moment, so <laughs> can't say... Uh, where he's going if he's going to continue so I'll leave that to the trainer. Well, that's that's more than I got out of your dad. Thanks Stevie. No worries. Cheers. There is a Steve Farnham finishes the day on a high rides Honeydew to victory who takes out the Crown Perth Handicap.